There's the error. Cabin climate control system requires service. Cabin heating, cooling limited or unavailable. Uh, let's go into the service. Just in my car, editing and getting a video ready for upload. I need to find an uh, internet cafe or similar with good Wi-Fi connection. So I think I'll just export this video and then try to find a place I can sit with good enough Wi-Fi to upload the video. And then I'll find my way to Berlin. So that's around three hours driving and I'll check out the supercharger next to the Berlin uh, Tesla Giga factory. Well, I made myself a mobile uploading studio instead, so it's connected to my hotspot and to power and that's everything it needs to upload the video. I'll fasten the laptop with a seatbelt to make sure it's secure and uh, we will be on our way. Okay, this is the plan. Drive from Hanover to Berlin and visit the Gigafactory Supercharger. We have arrived at, let's say, what's the place here? Irksleben supercharger. We arrived at 4% and we are charging at 230. Let's see if it creeps up. No, it doesn't. It just preconditioned for like maximum five minutes uh, because of my low state of charge. It wanted me to have a uh, buffer, which is understandable when driving on the Autobahn. And there is a long way between the exits, so if you miss an exit, it can be catastrophic if you don't have enough buffer. So we will stay here. It says estimated charge time of 25 minutes. I think we will stay here for around 20 minutes or 15 minutes. Because I like to arrive with low state of charge. And then the next stop after that is Gigafactory Berlin. It's quite a busy supercharger. Unfortunately, there is one Cayenne and one Mercedes blocking two of the stalls. Well, the car actually tells me why it's not reaching 250 kilowatts, and that's the battery temperature, just like I suspected. We have an uh, average efficiency of 220 watt hour per kilometer on this stretch. This is due to some high speed uh, driving on in the unrestricted zone. So we will be at the Supercharger Gigafactory Berlin in one hour and 10 minutes, it seems. I think there is uh, a little bit of traffic on the way. We have to go through Berlin, so that will be interesting to see. It's estimating 19% on arrival, so that's more than enough. And we have enough to, for some standstill traffic, if it's a lot of it.
we are uh, here at the Gigafactory Berlin. We have 12% uh, state of charge. Our current drive efficiency is 196 watt hour per kilometer and total per road trip is 197 watt hour per kilometer. Let's plug in. You can now supercharge at Giga Berlin and we are here to take a look at this charging station. So first of all, there are probably seems like 200 level 2 Tesla wall connectors everywhere and they seem uh, open and free for everyone. Here we have the superchargers lined up. Works very nicely, of course, version 3, should be version 4 here, to be honest, but no problem. And we have bathrooms with a canopy. I talked I talk to this nice guy um, that is over at the level 2 charger here. He has lost his credit card and was not able to supercharge. So he uses the free level 2 charger. Uh, we are at 74% and now we are going back to the Netherlands after making a video here. I just had a quick bathroom break and I grabbed something quick to eat just to make it to the supercharger in Hanover before we go to the Netherlands. I didn't film that much uh, since we leave the, the Gigafactory because I was just cruising on the Autobahn in uh, nice weather. We are here, let's uh, plug in and see what speed we got. This is the Hanover supercharger and it says we will have to stay here for 40 minutes. I guess we will stay here less. That poor 50 kilowatt ABB unit. I need to find a coffee or an energy drink or something to make the next, let's say, 328 kilometers that I have to make today to get to the Netherlands. So I'll just take a look around, but this looks like a shopping center and it's Sunday and that means everything is closed. So we might have to stop along the way. Okay, just putting another video for upload, same way as before, 14% on arrival, so we'll just unplug and go immediately. Just a simple update, I am here in Bissendorf. Uh, I am here because the Tesla asked me to charge a little bit before reaching uh, the Netherlands. This is uh, because of the high speeds on the uh, Autobahn. So I used the chance to buy an energy drink and some chocolates which will come in handy for the next 
two hours or so of driving. It's estimating 0% on arrival. I think we will go when this shows 10%. Then we have a little bit of margin to get to Harder Vik. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but that's the version for supercharger. Managed to get some uh, work done and we are off to the Netherlands. Now we have an average efficiency of 191 watt hour per kilometer. That is too good. Uh, we want to reduce our efficiency. So I have opened both the windows and turned the heater on max. So we are burning extra juice to get to the version 4 supercharger with as low state of charge as possible as possible but due to the maximum uh, speed limit in uh, the Netherlands it's not easy to just hammer and then uh, yeah you know you have to use other measures to reduce your efficiency to arrive at low state of charge We managed to arrive with 9% state of charge, which is not uh, good enough, but uh, the best I could do. For now, it's uh, getting late, so let's plug in. I'll have a whole video on these. pretty fast. They are huge. Okay, I've made a video on these. I might go back tomorrow to get some better daytime shots. But they are very nice, of course. Now I will just uh, unplug. And go to the hotel. We are done eating breakfast and ready to move along. Today we're going to check out some uh, charging stations. And our final destination is München or Munich. First I need to buy some water and get some sunscreen. I just uh, stopped for a bathroom break because uh, because of uh, all the water, of course. And I uh, thought that I might as well top up a little bit on this EV Go, which is very similar name to the US CCS uh, network brand, but uh, it's not affiliated. 
at all. And I uh, thought I'd just try this one and it works. I just used my plug surfing card, no problems. The road trip average efficiency is 191 watt hour per kilometer, estimating 9% on arrival at the ENBV charging station that we want to check out. One hour. Let's go. Okay, so we finally got uh, the heat pump issue that's uh, common on uh, the 2021 model year Tesla Model 3. Uh, what a time to get it when I'm uh, here in Germany, a long way from home. Uh, the alert says uh, cabin uh, climate control system requires service, cabin heating and cooling limited or unavailable, which is exactly what I have been experiencing. So it seems like there is no uh, limit on uh, the power, which is nice. Uh, I hope this only affects the cabin climate and uh, not the battery heating and cooling. Um, the Octoval is super advanced, so there might be some kind of failsafe there. But it does seem like I got the heat pump failure. So I will go charge now, see how that works. And then I'll probably go to the nearest Tesla service center, drop in, and just ask what can be done. But probably I need to drive this home to Norway and get it serviced there. Uh, which will be... Uh, well, temperature it's not the worst right now, so I guess it's fine. The only thing I'm uh, concerned about is, of course, um, fogging uh, of the windows which is kind of scary and happens very fast. Here's the error. Cabin climate control system requires service. Cabin heating, cooling limited or unavailable. Uh, let's go into the service. Uh, service menu. Enable. If we go in here, maybe we can see some more stuff. Let's see. service alerts five. That's not good. HVAC system, right way cool controller detects. The vehicle control does the refrigerant compressor is reporting an internal condition. No ride out calibration, that's fine. Trailer incorrect power. AC compressor power index is lower than expected. Battery heating and cooling performance might be limited. That sucks. Okay, let's uh, charge up here, since I need to charge. And uh, then I'll see if there is a Tesla service center nearby. Let's exit. There we go. We are here at the ENBV Hypernets charging station. And... Uh, I've never seen so many Alpitronic units in one place. Each is 300 kilowatts split in two. And there is more units over here. So now I'm going to check if I can use a plug surfing here.
me, I guess, card. Awesome. The contactors clicking, ramping up very slowly. We will charge up a few minutes here and then uh, just uh, drive down to Tesla Center Köln to see if they can do anything. I doubt so. We are charging at good speeds, but uh, we could uh, charge uh, faster as I can see that the battery preconditioning doesn't work as intended. Always get to the service center with a lot of charge. If they are going to take your vehicle, you don't know if they will charge it. So I have 43% on arrival at Köln. I will go to the drop-in service there and uh, test it out. Does it work? Will Tesla help me? Or do I have to drive with a limited car all the way home to Norway? And we still get the error. Okay, then we will go to the service center. I was just inside and they told me they don't have the parts to repair, so there is no reason to stay here. They could order, but they don't have a loaner. The easiest way for me is to drive to München. They will order in the parts and we will do a smart transition to a loaner if it's needed. So I'll get on my way to München, which is the next stop, and it's around 5-6 hours from here. Our first version 2 supercharger will just juice up here for 30 minutes while I get some food and we will be on our way to München. We are here at uh, Leonberg version 2 supercharger we are charging at 133 kilowatts and we have around two hours left to the hotel. I have requested service through the app uh, in Oslo with my concerns because I feel safe driving with the system as it is now. It's just some issue with the pressure in the air conditioning uh, and uh, I'll, I'm able to maintain cabin temperature it's a bit noisy but nothing it's not getting worse so I think I will drive like this home and then get service in Norway just to make sure that I don't need a loaner or appointments here because that's cumbersome when you are on a road trip. I just realized there is a version 3 supercharger just here. As you can see. So I went to the wrong one. But this wasn't here the last time I was here. It's a new one. 250 kilowatts. Nice. We did some autobahn driving here to get there quicker and that's our efficiency, 230 watt hour per kilometer. I think the average speed was around 160, 170 kilometers per hour. We are charging at 190 kilowatts. And next stop is the hotel. We still have the alert here, of course. And then I'll just go to sleep because I'm super tired. <laughs> 